In this video, let us see how to delete a record from the database. So first, uh, uh, let's create one form, sample form. So here is my ASPX code. Okay, in this ASPX code, what we have is that uh, actually this is not needed the only thing that I needed is the LBL data here and then this is my uh, page load e event of my code behind and in this we have also declared one page level variable called constr underscore constr that will basically have the connection string value from the web.config file means this value here and uh, we will have couple of more methods like delete record method here I'll show you what is the use of delete record method I'm going to explain each and every uh, method that I'm using here so please do not worry about that so here is my delete record method and then I have one more method called fetch records I'll tell you what is this fetch record is doing so here is my fetch record method yep okay and here it go fine so what I'm doing is that when uh, the low when the page is being loaded for the first time then naturally there will not be any query string here and it will come into this if not is post back uh, code block then this fetch records method will fire and in this what we are doing is we are instantiating the data table we are using the connect SQL connection object then we are listing all the records from the personal detail table ordered by auto ID and then we are filling into the data table and ultimately we are looping through the data table and cut and concatenating all the records into the string builder here we have edit and as well as delete uh, link uh, against each record edit we are not going to use because we had already seen earlier we are going to use delete here so now first uh, let us run this page so I'm going to run this page here and you can see that my page is looking something like okay there is looking like looks like there is some problem here so let me correct it out submit data doesn't exist so let me declare one submit data method however there is no use of it so let us remove it we are not going to use it so in fact we are not going to use these also so let me just remove all of them unnecessary they are here so let me run this page now now you can see that I have delete links against each record now notice this status bar of this browser window when I'm hovering my mouse on the link you can see that it is it will redirect to the same page with auto ID is equal to the auto ID of that record and com is equal to delete means we are redirecting to the same page with auto ID and com as the query string now let us see the page load uh, code here we are checking for the auto ID if it is not null or white space then we are and then we, what we are doing is that we are uh, passing the auto ID and saving that value of auto ID into the integer variable and then we are checking if it is not zero then again we are checking for whether this uh, com query string is not null or it is equal to delete naturally it will be delete because we are passing com is equal to delete see here the status bar and if it is com is equal to delete then we are calling the delete record method now by passing the id id means the auto id that we are passing here now let's go to the delete record uh, method in the delete record method what we are doing is that we have first uh, declared our integer type val variable called return value and we are instantiating the SQL, SQL connection then we have written one SQL command called delete from personal detail where auto id equal to the id that is coming here 
and then in the SQL command uh, what we are doing is that we are adding one one parameter called auto ID whose value will be the ID that is being passed into this delete, delete record method and then we are opening the connection and ex and uh, calling the execute non carry method of the SQL command and again closing the connection now closing uh, now calling execute non query of the SQL command will return the number of rows affected so naturally here one uh, row should be affected so the return value will be one so if it is not equal to zero then we are writing that record, record deleter successfully and then again we are calling the fetch records methods to make sure that the latest record from the database is populated on the page so that's what is happening now let me click uh, let me click on the delete link of the last record whose id is 26 so i have clicked it and you can see that the 26th record has been deleted and i have got a message saying record has deleted successfully